If you ask Elon Musk, we might not be driving ourselves much longer. I think in the future, uh, people will look back and say, wow, I can't believe we had to drive these cars ourselves. But in the auto and tech industries, there's a divide over how we get to that future. You see, most autonomous driving companies are using an array of sensors to help their vehicles navigate, including something called LiDAR, which is a laser-based sensor that helps the car understand how far away objects are. But Tesla says it won't need LiDAR to get around, and that its cars will instead see the road using cameras and artificial intelligence. And that's why I woke up at 1am to watch Tesla's AI day. Because as well as unveiling 2021's must-have Halloween costume, Tesla also lifted the hood on the AI that powers its advanced driver assistance features, known as autopilot and full self-driving. It's clearly headed to way better than a human, without question. So why does this matter? Well, Tesla has the highest stock market valuation out of all automakers and has ambitions to put tens of millions of vehicles on the road. In order to hit that aim, it's going to need consumers to trust its technology. But right now, its current less advanced driver assistance software, Autopilot, is being investigated by Nutza after a string of crashes at emergency scenes. That's partly why my colleague, Tesla reporter Rebecca Elliott, was also awake really late watching the same presentation. It was a super technical uh, look at how Tesla approaches some difficult problems using artificial intelligence. So what's so different about Tesla's plans for automated driving? And what difference does it make for consumers? Well, I'm gonna boil it down for you. Buckle up, let's go. Firstly, to understand what's unique about Tesla's approach, you need to understand the difference between cameras and LiDAR. LiDAR is really good at understanding distance, and it's used by pretty much every autonomous vehicle company at the moment. But while it's good at understanding distance, it can't see visual information, like road signs, in the way a camera can, which is why most companies use a combination of both. Musk, however, has said he thinks LiDAR is a crutch that will drive companies to a local maximum that they will find very difficult to, to get out of. And so Tesla is trying to create a fully autonomous vehicle that won't need LiDAR at all, but instead will drive itself mainly using cameras, kind of like a human uses their eyes. We must solve passive optical image recognition. We must solve it extremely well. Now, this isn't easy. There's a reason why other autonomous vehicle companies haven't taken this approach and have stuck with LiDAR. On the same day that Tesla held its AI day, Waymo released a blog post explaining that they use complementary sensors including radar, lidar and cameras, and not just vision, because camera-only systems can struggle in adverse weather and poor lighting conditions. And while cameras can be good at visual information, they're not naturally as good as lidar at understanding distance. And at Tesla's AI day, even Musk himself admitted that cameras can be fooled. Are you worried at all, since you don't have any depth sensors on the car, that people might try, like, adversarial attacks? Pull some, like, Wile E. Cody stuff. <laughs> you know, like, paint the tunnel on the, on the wall. <laughs> I actually have a t-shirt with a stop sign on it. And, and then you, like, flash the car. <laughs> it, 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 will, it will stop. <laughs> but Tesla engineers did lay out how they planned on getting around these issues by training their AI to understand images being gathered by the car's eight cameras. Like being able to identify an object's distance based on its size and where it is in the field of view. And then make driving decisions based on that information. Or as Tesla puts it, We're trying to design a neural network that processes eight cameras that are positioned around the vehicle into what we call the vector space. And this is a three-dimensional representation of everything you need for driving. And to do that training, they're building a supercomputer called Dojo. It'll be a fastest AI training computer. Which Musk said would be operational next year. But all of this is set to come in the future. And right now, Tesla's autopilot system, which comes as standard on all new vehicles, is the subject of an investigation. So what does all this mean if you're a potential Tesla buyer? Or curious about the future of driverless cars? Well, that's where I need Rebecca to come in. Hey Rebecca, how's it going? Hey George. Is the tech that was demonstrated at AI Day likely to become a reality anytime soon? Musk is known for setting super ambitious targets, but the company hasn't always uh, fulfilled uh, those ambitions, or at least not in the time frame that Musk initially set out. Two years ago, Musk said that he thought Tesla would have the robo taxi service in place by the end of 2020. And we expect to have the first operating robo taxis next year. That 
hasn't happened. And, you know, broadly speaking, autonomous vehicles have taken a lot longer to come to reality than many in the industry expected. Only criticism, and it's a fair one, and sometimes I'm not on time, but I get it done. Right now, Tesla's under investigation for crashes involving its current autopilot system. And I reached out to Tesla about the investigation and they didn't respond to my request for comment. But they have in the past said that driving with autopilot is safer than driving without autopilot. So what effect could these crashes and the investigation have on Tesla's plans? These investigations can lead to recalls, so they don't always, but the probe generally signals that federal officials are paying closer attention to advanced driver assistance systems, which have not been tightly regulated in the US. As with any kind of emerging technology, gaining consumer confidence is really important. Thanks, Rebecca. Yeah, thanks for having me. So if Musk wants to meet his target of 20 million vehicles by the end of the decade, Tesla is going to need to go beyond its early adopters and demonstrate to a broader audience that its driverless technology is safe. Hey, if you're interested in the future of how we get from A to B, then don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to read more of Rebecca's coverage, I've left a link below. Catch you later.